true. <laughs> you need to pick up the mic. Yeah. Masha Boom. Masha Boom. Unfortunately, you're on a peninsula, and the two areas in North America that they found are on the eastern shore. Kind of ironic. Okay. So you are going to see increased traffic if this moves forward. It's obvious. Peter had a wonderful idea in regards to just having the boats going out, maybe having a staging area offshore that they can, people can get off on local <laughs> whales. Wonderful. Somebody else said same-sex whales. Another wonderful idea. Every time I've gone to each and every one of these town hall meetings, and each time one of these meetings occur, somebody says something that I personally didn't think about. Have you thought about all of these items? Some not all. Some no. now. Right. Some not all. Not all. Yeah. Especially closing off the gates. Good try. Okay. I'm glad you're engineers. And everybody came back and came up with another conclusion in regards to open for six months. That six months that they're open, will that be the six months that these lobster fishermen and women go out? Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. Yeah. Okay. So you're asking for a half a mile, square mile. Peter said that he had one of the greatest seasons, the last few seasons of lobster fishing. I'm hoping that all of you stay. It would be wonderful. Hopefully you did. And all the community of She Harbor, not Mushaboom, you're right. These whales are not going to She Harbor. They're going to Mushaboom, off the headlands of Mushaboom. All that we're asking for is a half a kilometer of ocean that we can have some whales in so she harbor can have some people come down your community it will come down to the eastern shore see the whales maybe this one i apologize give me a moment continue on through down to sherbrooke st mary's river up to the up to the main highway grants can the back in the Halifax. good day trip it's going to bring people in now a bus going out maybe they can do that hire some transit buses maybe on long weekends or something and say we're having just specific weekends. I don't know. But I'm telling you, there were some great ideas here to see. And I'm sorry you live on a peninsula, but it's our peninsula that they found. And I am a little bit surprised that you only found two areas and off of all of North America and they're both on the eastern shore. Well, let me correct that. Okay. We found two areas in Nova Scotia of all the sites that we looked on on the south shore and the eastern shore. And let me also correct another point. And it doesn't change where we're at tonight, but it's important to be accurate. We didn't select this site. A number of people, and there were some fishermen who were part of it, proposed a number of sites to us. And we then looked at, among those sites, which of them had the physical criteria that we had set for any sanctuary anywhere. And among those sites, the one in Sherbrooke and this one here are the two that met those criteria. We have a site in Washington State that we're still considering. It would be for Orca, it's not for Beluga. And it has a number of issues that we're dealing with permit-wise and the like. And we have a site in really central British Columbia uh, that we're also looking at that is possible, that's very remote. Each of these four sites has benefits, has challenges, has concerns. And as we look at these four sites, from a physical standpoint, putting aside for a moment all of the issues we're discussing tonight that are community issues, from a physical standpoint, this particular site is the premier site of those four. Now, you don't do a project on the basis of that, but you begin to look into a project, spend the serious time, money, and all of your time that has gone into it because it meets those criteria to move forward. Thank you. I stand correct. No, that's right. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. I, was, I asked Pasha Boones that some of these concessions could probably be made and keep your traffic volumes down. The whales on the end of Mushaboon at the headland and the gates open in the summer. There will be no lighting that could be seen from Mushaboon because, of course, we're talking about lighting. All of these gates and nets are going to have lighting and 
buoys and all kinds of sea markers, and they won't be able to be seen from the mainland or with people in that area because the headlands will be closed off. I think it's good, but again, traffic volumes, I agree. Probably in the Try to limit Thank that. You. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, everybody. My name is Chris Snow. I live in Harrigan Cove. I live a long way from Mushaboom. Well, in terms of being able to see it, touch it, smell it, feel it, be impacted by what's there. It's easy for me to say yes or no to a project that happens in Mushaboom because I'm not as directly impacted from it and I'm not being asked in this case to give anything up for it. So I, I, I can really sympathize with what the, uh, the people in Mushaboom are being asked. And I also get that they're feeling a lot of pressure because you see it tonight. You see those who see an opportunity, which I do, um, it's easy for us to say, yes, put it there then it impacts these people. And we can go back and forth in these kind of meetings, you know, I'm for it and I'm opposed, but it won't go any farther than this. So, if a way can be found just to go to the next step, I think it's only sensible and respectful to deal with those people, fishermen, and residents and recreational users of that area. Deal with them. The rest of us, in my mind, stand, you know, if we handle any opportunity properly, like this, it's huge exposure, and if we handle it properly, properly there's a lot of opportunity to be gleaned from it beyond the 20 jobs and all that. So, I just want to suggest that the next step, if you get there, just involve those who you know, have vested interest in that area and leave the rest of us out of it. Because it's easy for the rest of us to say, I'll go on, make a compromise, do it for everybody. That is kind of what we're all asking. And with every opportunity, there is compromise. But one thing is for sure, the sun rises in the east and our average age here is old. We're a dying community. It's, I've been here all my life, and there's less and less and less. And it's great to have solitude, but it's also great to have some services. It's also great to have a grocery store. You need to beat the hospital like a dead horse. But, but there's, there's a lot to be said for an increase in traffic, at least seasonally, that would invigorate this community just a little bit that it would grow instead of shrink. I live 15 miles away from Sheet Harbor, but I need it to be there. And I don't know that that's the same for many people in Mushaboom. They need those services as well. And that's in part why we're all here, because there is a community there. But if that next step goes forward, it's, it's kind of unfair in my mind for those of us outside of the area to say, hey, I'm all for it pressure these guys to, you know, they have rational, reasonable, legitimate concerns, and, and there may be some willingness to make a compromise. But I think that's best found out in a smaller meeting between those with a vested interest. Look, these Eastern Shore Islands are, are the, it, it's, it's, it's open season to attract people. I mean, there's not, there's, there's a tiny handful of places in our Western world like that. And from the outside looking in, it's pretty available. It's, it's undeveloped. So just let me say that this will not be the last of this sort of idea to come along our shore. It may not be Malagash Cove the next time, but it is the most valuable, lowest hanging fruit we have to offer to the rest of the world. And they're looking for places like this. That's how these guys found this place. It happened to be Malagash Cove. That suits their idea. And I believe that 
they don't have a hidden agenda. I don't believe in these conspiracy theories or anything like that. I, I believe what they say, that they have a legitimate care and concern for these critters and they want to, to house them this way. It's just how to deal with the impact. And from here on, I kind of like not to be asked my opinion anymore. <laughs> and the opinion of those involved be asked and considered and hopefully there's some sober second thought. Thank you.